Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. So for those who don't know me, my name is Jennifer Tomazzini and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I have a true unboxing for you guys. I haven't opened this thing that I'm going to show you. So if you guys saw it in the title, uh, it is a Chanel unboxing. So without further ado, let's do it. So guys, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I will really, really appreciate it. Don't forget to follow me on my social media account. I have two Instagram accounts and I will link it down below. So I do have a Chanel unboxing and I, if you guys saw already my vlog, if you didn't saw it, I will link it down below so you guys can check it out. You saw that on Monday I was in Zurich and I went to do a little bit of shopping. I had a beautiful, beautiful experience in the Chanel uh, store and there I scored one of the things that was on my wish list and another thing I'm actually on a waiting list for so I hope it will soon come into the store and they will call me as soon as get, as it get in there here it is so if you guys saw it it's a true unboxing I haven't opened it up so inside of the bag we have the Chanel invoice with a camellia and it's just say how much it costs it and here it is oh it doesn't look that cute now now it looks cuter <laughs> so this is actually something from Chanel do you guys think what it could be um if you guys know what it is just write me down below let's see if you guys uh, are right or not um so it looks like this here is the packaging really cute i'm not gonna take away the bow i'm just gonna open it up on the sides oh let's see if i can do it so So excited oh I can't wait to use it I wanted this for the longest time but you know in Zurich they don't have the they don't have a lot of stuff in stock and also in Italy to be honest in Milan in Milan they do have more but it gets out of stock really quickly because we have a lot of tourism um, so that's why so the bow I will put it back in the bag so here it is let's open it up together These are the instructions, how to take care of it. It comes with like a suede dust bag. Do you guys, do you guys know what it is? It's a passport cover from Chanel. And I don't know how the camera is picking this up. Uh, it looks a little bit like black, but it's not. Uh, it's like in this iridescent kind of color. Sometimes when you look at it, it looks a little bit like green and in other um, lights, it comes out a little bit more like on the purple side. Um, Chanel already did this collection a long time ago and did like Chanel Boy in this iridescent um, color. And it is also the classic um, Chanel uh, flaps, um, also in this beautiful iridescent color. I'm not sure how the camera is picking this up. Does it look black on you guys when you watch it? Maybe it looks more black, but in reality, when I watch at it, first when I was in the store, I um, asked if they had any pass passport covers, and she was so kind, and she said, yeah, we do have it. And then she showed me a bunch of colors. They had like a, a coral color, but it was in lambskin, beautiful. I really thought I'm gonna buy that one instead at first, because it was a really beautiful pop of color, and I could see myself using that a lot. The only thing that I was a little bit unsure was the fact that it was in lambskin. And my first option was actually, was not so much about the color. For me, it was really important that it was in a caviar leather because I feel like I'm going to use the passport cover so much that I want to have it in a 
really durable material. Then she bring me another color, it was also seasonal color and was like a kind of cobalt blue that's also beautiful and it will look really good on with my Dior book toes. But the fact was also a lambskin and I didn't really like it. Um, so then she checked everywhere and then she asked um, another sales associate if he had seen other uh, passport covers and he said, yeah, I have one. And then he brought out this one. She went to the to the uh, to the back door to check if they had anything else, and this came up, and I fell in love immediately. I have always been really in love with the iridescent um, kind of design or uh, line, the iridescent line. But the fact was, I felt like you know investing in a, such a huge piece as a Chanel Chanel boy in iridescent. I think I will not be 100% sure or wear it as much. But when I saw this, and this one is in caviar leather, you guys see that it's very, very shiny. I'm gonna do like a zoom in, in the when you can walk. I'm gonna zoom in a little bit so you guys can check out. In kilted leather, in kilted print, um, in caviar leather, very shiny and it's in the silver hardware. So the Chanel, the logo is in silver, and this is exactly what I want, the silver and caviar leather. The color, I didn't really care, but when I saw the iridescent, I was like, it's mine. And there was also two other girls. They were not from Switzerland, I think they were Americans or English. No, I think they were Americans. And they were like, oh my God, that's so beautiful. And they saw it exactly at the same time I did, but I, grab it immediately because like oh that's mine i love it i love it so much and that was the only one they had it in stock and now when i'm watching it it's actually in like a purpley color um but oh my god it's so beautiful so beautiful just tell me down below what kind of color do you guys see it's like more green black or purple um i see it more purple to be honest with you guys I love this. I'm gonna show you how it looks inside. So inside you do have here a lot of slides. You can actually put your ID card and other like credit card if you want to. And here is the logo from Chanel and I think it's like made in Italy. Yeah, exactly. So here you have a couple of slides and I mean, it's beautiful. I love this one so, so much. I'm so happy I found it. And when I saw it iridescent, I was like, I was so, so happy. I didn't even know they still did it. So, oh my God, I'm so happy. It looks huge actually. And it fit my passport absolutely perfect. I try it in store because I want to be sure that it really fit good. And this one is like an international um, fitting. So it fits in every passport. So here it is. I can't wear to wear it. I will just wear it exactly right now. So guys, that was it for my YouTube video. If you guys like it, click a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I will really, really appreciate it. If you have any questions, just write me down below and I will write you back as soon as possible. I hope you guys have a wonderful, wonderful evening. Mwah. Bye guys.